Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the how to build a silo structure blog using free WordPress plugin series. In this video uh, we're going to look at what we do after we've installed the three basic plugins that we're going to need to create a silo structure for the blog. The first thing to do um, before we start using the plugins is to create the categories that we're going to use that represent the silos for our blog. So uh, into dashboard, into category, and the first thing would be to um, create the categories, as I say, uh, that we're going to use throughout this process. Hopefully you'll have used uh, Kraken or the last keyword toolkit to do your research so that you know uh, the value associated with your silos and categories. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it really simple so that you can see how the structure works. So in the first uh, category, I'm going to be very, very um, hard on myself here and I'm going to call it category one and the slug um, that you're going to need to have with it would mirror that um, and if you're using multiple words for your category name then your slug will be in lowercase with a dash in between the words uh, once you're happy with that click add new category uh, with the default category we can utilize that if it's not been um, changed already in your particular blog and change that to something else and as you can see I'm being highly original here and we'll call this one oranges I'll call uh, the third one apples a fourth one bananas or we'll make this banana in the plural, or singular, sorry, banana, again with a lowercase slug. And one more um, for total originality, category two, and save that. Now after you've created uh, your categories, the next thing to do is to uh, create pages um, for your silos and these again um, uh, we're going to be very very um, intelligent and make things really simple for the video but of course you will have done the research and it will be more meaningful to you so we're going to call the first page category one and uh, put some text in Obviously your text would be uh, well researched and have lots and lots of supporting words um, and terms related to the article uh, silo that you're looking for. We'll then create uh, a second page and you can probably guess what's going to be coming up here. No prizes for guessing uh, and some text and publish this then we're going to create uh, another page keeping our highly original theme um, going and uh, just to ensure uh, that we have uh, no real duplicate content I've actually uh, found some more lorem ipsum text which is uh, original and unique and we'll publish that and I'll do the same for bananas and oranges so now when we go uh, and have a look for the purposes of this video I've got five pages and five categories and if we have a quick look at the site we can see the home page the apples the bananas category one category two and oranges so that's where we're at so far the next thing to do is to stop um, the theme from bleeding anything away 
um, and to start utilizing the free plugins that we've uploaded. So uh, back into um, the appearance and the widgets and we want to remove um, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories and uh, the meta. It's always useful to keep the search and then create a custom menu uh, in the main sidebar. Now when you drag this over uh, it says no menus have been created yet, create some. So click, uh, click on create some and now is the time to create your first menu. So in this case I'm going to call this uh, a food menu for want of something better and click on create menu. Then I'm going to um, select the five pages that we've already created, add those to the menu. I'm going to put them in order that I'd like to see them appear and you might um, have preferences for the order that you have them selected in that could range from the number of uh, expected visitors, the number of search terms or the value of each silo. Uh, either way you get the option here to uh, reorder them and don't forget to click the save menu. Now it's back to the widgets and in our custom menu we can select the food menu here uh, click on save and that uh, is that part done for us so if we have a look and refresh the page we can now see uh, our new menu in the sidebar now this process of adding the custom menu um, here um, and creating the uh, submenu with all of the silo pages will be very very useful if you're using a theme um, that doesn't use the new WordPress theme structure um, and you know sort of it's there to make your life easy so if you need to get your silos uh, on a, a page and your theme doesn't support um, custom menus then this is uh, the way to go about that so now time for just a quick recap. In this step of how to build a silo structure blog using free WordPress plugins, we have created the categories that we are going to use, having researched them. We have created the static pages for each of the silos, and we've used the custom menu widget, added the static pages to that custom menu widget, created the menu and then added it to the main sidebar. That's it for the second step in this series of videos and I'll be back with the next video when we look more at the widgets uh, and how you are going to build a silo structured blog using the free plugins. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.